Earlier this year, Apple launched one of the biggest updates to its product lineup in years with the Apple Vision Pro. This set the bar pretty high for rest of the year's innovation, so now we're expecting a lot more exciting changes along this thread. And with just one month until the March event, there are big changes for what more could come this year. Some of them are your typical incremental changes and upgrades, so if you're looking to buy something, you might want to put it on hold until you watch this video. Spoiler alert, it's something that the Samsung Galaxy S24 has already implemented in their ecosystem, and they do have a lot to compete with when considering the advanced Galaxy AI features that is already out now. This really will be the year that Apple should step up. Before we get into this, a lot of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so please consider subscribing for more content like this. And it also helps out the channel. First things first, we will be getting an update that's long due to the AirPods 3rd gen. This AirPods model is in desperate need for a real refresh since the last update and release to the AirPods Pro 2nd gen in September of 2022. That's over two years since, and in 2024, we're expecting some big changes to this product line. The most anticipated change will be continued improvements to the sound quality and noise cancellation, which means that there might be firmware changes, which means that there might be even updates to the H2 chip so that if they need more signal processing and EQ bandwidth, they would have the additional gates. I'm hoping that they'll make spatial audio more streamlined as this is one of the outstanding issues for me. Depending on what device you're using, you'll get a different sound experience. For example, it's best on an iPhone, but the spatial audio is not recognized on the MacBook. Hopefully, this will be more streamlined since its original release. I'm personally invested in this. I already love the sound quality with my AirPods 3rd gen and I don't see how they could possibly keep improving this and coming out with more. If you would like to learn more about this, I did a video on the AirPods 3rd generation in my review and I'll link that in the description below. There's also the expectation of updates to the design language itself. This includes a small change to the general fit so they don't fall off as often and more color options allowing you to personalize at the factory instead of the case. Speaking of charging cases, they're expected now to be using the USB standard instead of lightning to conform to the wider ecosystem or they might even ditch this for a purely wireless solution. Next up is the iPad lineup. Now I think we can all agree the iPad lineup has gotten kind of bloated and confusing. There's the regular iPad, iPad Air, iPad Pro, and iPad Mini, and they're all on a bunch of different generations. If you're not careful, you could fall into the price ladder, which is designed to keep you justifying the higher end purchases. For starters, the iPad Pro is the only one that comes with the OLED display 12.9 inch option. The 11 inch iPad Pro is on fourth generation and the 12.9 inch is ahead by two entire generations. So this means that the former will be getting some changes from the 12.9 inch model, including the liquid XDR display and at the least the M3 upgrade. This should help with enhanced contrast, improved HDR and better response time. Not to mention, it should help with power efficiency, so expect improved battery life in the newer model. Now onto the iPad Air, which is still at the generation five since it's released exactly two years ago today. There are rumors that this year we'll see a larger display size of the 12.9 inch to be added to the Air's existing config options. So it will be the iPad Air 10.9 and iPad Air 12.9, but it may not have the OLED display option. It's expected to use at least the M2 chip, have Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3. Lastly, there will be the usual camera bump upgrade. Okay, let's talk about the state of MacBook Air. The MacBook Air will likely keep the standard sizes between the 13.6 inch display and the 15.3. The most important upgrade would be to the M3 chip over the current M2, which they've stuck with since last year's launch for some reason. Aside from that, it won't have any other major changes as it just got one last year. Lastly, let's talk about the change we've all been waiting for and expecting, and that's Apple's implementation of AI. I'm hoping that in this March event, we'll get a sneak preview of it, but it might not be until the WWDC in June. In the last year, major brands like Google and Samsung have constantly been making changes to their language models with Apple yet to release one. This might mean they're either cooking up something really big are not planning to do something with it at all. The biggest and most obvious impact to this would be integrating it with iOS 18. iOS 18 is already rumored to be one of the biggest updates to the iPhone. One example of this would be in Safari where you could use it to summarize things like you would on the Galaxy AI. Also, there may be changes coming to image manipulation and editing which will allow you to remove subjects similar to Google Pixel. Now imagine all these features but in the Apple way, which is more streamlined. I'm also hoping to see Siri's integration with AI a little bit further to give more responses. Now Siri already has AI built in but not in the generative sense. And a big part of the reason why Apple has not done this is um, their continued commitment to sustainable privacy practices. 
The hope is to do as much of this processing locally as to eliminate your data bouncing around the servers and the network. Everyone's GPT model would be personalized on their own local machine. Hopefully it won't load the internal storage of the iPhone. This all sounds really cool and I'm excited to test out some of their features and see how they're going to accomplish this. But we all know just how tightly controlled information is about releases when it comes to Apple, so this is just speculation using historical trends and schedules. With that being said, we expect that there will be other changes as well. So do make sure to expect those. This is not an exhaustive list. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this or if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time.